to another whiskey review. Now today I am going to be reviewing a single malt from the Speyside region. Now this single malt is the Tamnavulin double cask. Now no age statement on it whatsoever so I would assume it is a young whiskey. Matured in American oak barrels and it is finished off in sherry cask butts. So with the sherry cask influence, you'd expect a very sweet taste on this. It is 40%, as you can see. Uh, the coloration on it, I would say that it has had a color added to it, a caramel color, I would have said, and chill filtered as well, I reckon. Now the Tam Navulin distillery is 50 years old. They don't release many single malts at all. Uh, this was the first one I believe to be released in 20 years, or at least bottled from there in 20 years. And you have the double cask, and you also have another one that is out, which is the sherry cask. There are other single malts out there from the uh, distillery itself. They are older, like I say, I think there's ones like the 1970, and there is, they just have different dates on them from when I presume is when they were made. Now this has a batch number on it. It says 0308. I don't think that means anything to be honest with you. Uh, I just think it's put on there because if you put a number on a bottle, it makes it seem that little bit more special. You know, it probably doesn't mean a thing, but if people think they're getting one and they see the number, it just makes it makes it feel like a part of something, you know? That's, that's the way I look at it anyway. But yeah, not a bad drop at all. Another space side, I do a lot of the space sides as you're probably figuring out. Nice, rich coloration, as you can see. Ambery, goldy color, very clear. Like I say, no age statement. I'm not expecting it to hold on the glass very well, which it doesn't, even though it's been in the, it's pro, you know, I wouldn't even like to say how old it is, but if you're not putting an age statement on a whiskey, normally it is young because age statements to me sell better. They always will. If you know how long your whiskey has been maturing in the barrels, you know, it, it, to me, it just, it just normally, I, I prefer an age statement on mine anyway. Like I say, not holding very well, very clear, very crisp coloration. Let's see what it's like on the nose. Very floral, very sweet. Citrusy lemons, oranges. You can definitely smell I would say you could definitely smell the sherry influence in that. You can definitely smell the very fruity, rich, crisp smell coming through. Slight woody smell. But it is the rich, rich fruits that take over everything on this. It really is. It's just a very rich, fruity smell. That's the only way you can use to describe it. Not a lot else to it, to be honest with you. Very clean smelling, like I say, lemony, citrusy. Hmm. Let's see what it tastes like on the palate. First of all, you get an initial hit of fruitiness. You can definitely taste like a candy. I'd say it's like a, like a slight hard boiled candy slight taste, followed by the citrusy zingy type taste. And then once that's gone, you can taste the sherry and the woody oakiness lingers around on your tongue. But that is very thin and that is a very short finish. There's no oiliness to it. There's no age to it. It doesn't hang around the mouth. It just washes over the tongue and it's gone. There's... There's not a lot to that at all. That's, that's, that's already gone, to be honest with you.
definitely sweet. Definitely get the florally, fruity taste to start with. Like I say, there's like a candy, hard boiled candy, very sweet tang in there. And then once that goes, quickly followed by the wood and the sherry. Like I say, it's gone straight away. Super thin, very short finish. It sells at around about 30 to 35 pound a bottle. I picked that up at Christmas time for, I think it was 25 pounds. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's not bad if you can get it for 25 pounds, yes. Any more than that, I would say that it's not really up there to be honest with you. Too short a finish, the flavours aren't complex at all. That would be a good whiskey for someone who is moving from blended into single malts. Very easy to pick the flavours out from it, extremely, extremely easy. There's no, when you're, you're not sitting there wondering what that flavour is, the flavours are just boom, 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 boom. You can pick them out very, very quick. But yeah, it's in some supermarkets, like I say, it sells at around about £35 normally. Wouldn't pay that. Rather pay it when it's cheaper, but yeah, it is what it is. Now, marks out of 10, what would I give that? I would say 6.2. Slightly above average, it's not a big hitter. It's not going to set the world on fire in the single malt world. It is just one that is there to have in the collection. And to try. Well, I say try it. I mean, you know, if you're new to whiskey, by all means get on it. It's not going to break the bank. It's a single malt to have from a different distillery in your collection. But what I would like to do, like I say, it's uh, that is the double cask, that is the oak and the sherry butt finish. I'll see if I can get hold of a bottle of the actual sherry cask finish because I'd like to see how different that is to that. I reckon that is extremely rich. If this is as rich as it is, and it's just finished in the sherry butts and it's matured in the oak, I think the purely sherry cask, I reckon that would be very, very rich. But I've got a feeling that'd be very nice as well, so I'm gonna see if I can get myself a bottle of that. That's not bad at all, really, to be honest with you. The flavours aren't complex. The flavours are perfect for someone starting to get into whiskey. I would say this is a good whiskey for people who want to learn about flavours. You can taste the sherryness and you can also pick out the oakiness as well. You can definitely distinguish between the two. And it's a whiskey that if you wanted to find out, you know, you'd learn from it. You really would. But oh well. that is the uh, end of that review. You take care of yourselves. Cheers and I'll see you in the next review.